Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I just have a quick casual video for you guys. I'm just going to show you my drugstore foundation routine. And yes, I'm in a hoodie. I just thought, I really can't be bothered to like get dressed. I mean, you guys know I'm like a super casual person. So yes, I am in a hoodie for this video. I hope you guys don't mind. In this video, I will be showing you what foundation and concealer and like drugstore products I like to use for my base. If you want to know what my drugstore foundation routine is, then just keep on watching. I'm just going to pop this thing on because my hair is like getting all over up in my face. Okay. So as you all know by now, I have super dry skin, especially these days because it's quite cold outside and my nose, is, especially in my nose area, it's like it just shrivels up and it just gets old and disgusting and cracky and it's just like a desert sand on my nose. One of the foundations that I really really love to use is the Garnier Moisture Nourish Plus Moisturiser for dry to very dry skin. It's drugstore and it's super affordable, Around, it's a, I think it's around like £4 or six pounds but sometimes it's on offer at Boots and I just really like to just basically moisturize my skin so moisturizing like when I put this on my face my skin feels so good the reason why I like to focus on drugstore a lot is because I really want to show you guys that you can achieve like really really great looks with only drugstore products you don't always need high end even though I love to splurge on high end stuff sometimes especially for foundation but you can also get like really really like a really nice space with drugstore stuff as well so that's why I really want to concentrate on drugstore products because not all of us can afford high end makeup I mean I'm a student and I can't afford it all the time so um Having drugstore is really important so that I don't go broke basically. Um, and yeah, so it's really nice to have like affordable makeup anyways. When I'm done with my moisturizer, I really like to massage it my nose area especially. So a product that I've been loving at the moment is this Sleek Bear Kissed Illuminator in Monaco. And it's just basically a illuminizer. And what I like to do is just like put it here. Like basically on the areas that I like to highlight and then I just take my beauty blender and press it in. My nose, my chin, it just gives a nice glow. So I just like to do this before my foundation. Next I like to go in with my orange corrector by LA Girl. This is what it looks like. This is super affordable, I really love their concealers and I love this especially just to like warm up this part of my face because it gets very dark around my mouth area and it's just basically Asian girl, brown skin girl problems like it just gets dark around here, it likes to get dark around here and basically it just warms it up. I keep dropping the lid, oh my god. I then just like to take my damp beauty blender and take one side of it and just push this into my skin so when that's all blended out make sure that you know what side you use because you don't want to blend your foundation on that side so I just make sure that I use the clean side for my foundation now for foundation I'm going to mix my Maybelline fit me foundations I have the shade 315 and the shade 320 this is way too dark for me but then this is too light and then I just mix the two and it gives the perfect shade so I'm just going to mix it on the back of my hand I just then dot this around my face and I actually put the excess on, on my neck I'm then going to take my beauty blender and remember don't take the, one, the side that you used for your corrector you can clearly see that that side's a bit orange and this side is clean well it's not clean anymore because I put foundation on it but I'm just going to like blend my foundation with this So once I'm done with that, I'm going to move on to concealer and for concealer I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee. I always carry them upside down. 
I'm also going to take this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind or a Age Re I don't know, Eraser or whatever, I don't know what it's called. It says Instant Anti-Age Eraser, but then so many people call it an Instant Anti-Age or Age Rewind or something like that. I don't know, it's a concealer basically. So um, I just like to first go in with the LA Girl first. And then I just go in with the Maybelline one and I kind of mix it with the LA Girl and it just gives me the perfect shade. And then I just go with my Beauty Blender and just blend everything out. So as you can see it just brightens the inner part of your face and I just love that. Then to set in my concealer I like to use my Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and I'm just going to use this yellow shade right here and basically just set that in. You just want to like lightly tap on it. I also like to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder um, in Translucent. I was also thinking about getting the NYX Contour Palette and doing a review on it because you guys really liked the review on this palette that I did quite a while ago. So if you guys want to see like some reviews on like some contour palettes or eyeshadow palettes, just let me know and I'll be happy to do those for you. But yeah, and I also do, I, I really love my Bed Night Banana Powder, but obviously that's not really drugstore. So yeah, that's what I really do for my concealer part. Lately, I have been liking to take my 320 foundation and this Makeup Revolution stippling brush. And basically I just take some on the brush and I lightly contour with it. And it just gives a really like natural shadow, like super natural. So then when I'm done with that, I like to take bronzer. I really like this 17 matte bronzer. It's called the Instant Glow Focus. This is called the Instant Glow Bronzer. And it's in the shade medium. And I like to use my NYX matte bronzer as well. I mean, the shades, like the 17 one is a bit warmer and the NYX one is a bit cool tone, I would say. I really like to use the either of them, but I'm going to use my 17 one. I've just been loving this lately. I, I just feel like I love it more because it's a bit more warm. And on a daily, I just like to just basically bronze up my skin. I'm then going to add a bit of blush and I'm going to use this number 7 Stay Perfect blush in Coral Flush. Actually it's called the natural, it's called a natural blush tint powder and it's in Coral Flush. I'm going to take the Real Techniques blush brush. I don't need too much, I mean I don't really like to use blush all the time but sometimes I just feel like it gives a bit more dimension to my face. I'm then going to highlight my skin using this Makeup Revolution Radiant Light Highlighter in Glow. The reason why I really love this highlighter is because it just gives, it's not like too harsh so it just gives like, it gives you like an inner glow and that's why I really like it. It's just super natural, it's great for every day, it's not too harsh, I mean it doesn't, I can pat so much of this on and it won't look patchy. As you can see this highlighter is so nice, it's so nice, seriously. 
And then for the final step, I just like to use my Mario Badescu rose water spray. I don't know if this is drugstore, but it's five pounds for this whole bottle. So to me, that is drugstore. It's so I just like to lightly spray that on my face. So that's my drugstore foundation routine for you guys. And please mind my eye makeup. I was just experimenting with some shadow. So these products are super affordable and they all give you a very flawless base. And I do hope you guys found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm Anushka on Instagram and Anushka Beauty on Twitter and Snapchat. I think that's all I have to say. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys all so much. And until next time, I'll see you then. Mm.